Okay, welcome back. This is going to be an interesting video. I'm actually going to be reacting to my very first show day video that I ever made. It was for a buddy Dylan McKenna back in 2019 versus my last show day I've made yet, which was for Vaughn Walker. It was at Universe and it's where he won his pro card. I am going to try to get through as much of the old show day video as I can. I don't know if I'll be able to make it because the it's been a while since I've watched it, but I just know there are some things I would never do that I did in this video. The lesson here is everyone starts from somewhere, and this was me from four years ago, and if you're someone who wants to get into this and you want to get into cinematography, videography, filming, editing, anything in this nature, it just takes time. But without further ado, let's jump into, let's get into the first video. Oh, right off, pausing already, right off the rip. I don't watermark my footage anymore. I probably should in some capacity, maybe not as obnoxious, but we're not even 10 seconds in and I, I already paused it. That's rough. That's rough. Oh my God, hold on. 1080. So I shot this on my Canon 80D and that did not have 4K. Granted, 2019, not a lot of creators were doing 4K at the time, but still, wow. What? Too, too long. Too long. What was I doing? One thing I remember is I edited Dylan's show day video in Premiere Pro, and you'll see later in Vaughn's, I used Final Cut Pro. There's just something about it. I can, like, I've grown to love Final Cut Pro because of how intuitive it is, or at least to me how intuitive it is with my workflow process. And, I mean, I can I, I can just tell, like, it's so awkward right now. But this rewind effect, I like the idea. I like the concept. Just very poorly done. So we're just going to skip right on through and... This was his old intro song. Oh my god. Okay, this intro that he has, one of his friends made this for him. I did not make this. This at the time. I could probably make it now at the current skill level I'm at, but I just remember when I was younger and watching this, I was just like, that's where I want to be one day. So now we're here. Uh, Until I get on the stage and look, just get this show okay. done with, I'm like, I, I'm just going to be in this, like, funk. I don't know how to explain it. The audio is just not good. Okay, drone footage. Should have changed an angle at this point. I use a lot of effects and like, I guess, transition effects in my more amateur days. One huge thing I've learned over the years is if you're a storyteller or if you're someone who's just trying to get better at making visual stories, you don't need fancy transitions, fancy cuts, fancy whoosh. Like, they all have a time and a place. You like watch a movie, they don't do those crazy, like they don't use these like, like glitch pan effects. They don't use them. I use them religiously in 2019. And I wish I could go back in time and just, just tell them like, yo, work on the framing, work on the composition, making sure all the frames connect. So that way, if you go from shot one to shot two, it makes sense. And you're not forcing a transition to make it from point A to point B. Oh, another transition. <laughs> yeah, what? The music selection is insane. If you notice, I'm skipping like every few seconds. It's literally just because I can't. I don't think I could watch this all the way through. Stop. 
Oof. The cuts in there. Definitely wouldn't make those mistakes again. I mean, I don't think I have. I probably have at some point. Overall, I would say if I had to rate this out of 10, this would be a solid 3. And the 3 points are coming from the idea that from beginning, middle, end, the middle, the climax, was when he was on stage. So kudos to 2019 Grant for at least getting that very introductory idea correct. Uh, just all of the little things in between, though, just from music choice to framing to coloring to to everything else this was an opportunity that dylan gave me to get my basically like get my toes in the water and he trusted me and that was amazing when i watched this it's just like it's like nails on a chalkboard when you're in school like it's just rough all right moving on we have show day number god how many show days have i done how many show days have i done i've done dylan's was the first one i had aunt eastern's aunt miami north americans Atlantic States, Universe. So I think this is going to be my seventh. I could be wrong, but Vaughn's is my seventh show day that I've done. So let's see how this works out. One of the first comments that I noticed on Vaughn's video for this was that alarm the alarm like starting with the alarm not a good idea uh i mean when i watch it now it's not that big of a deal for headphone users beware right off the bat framed better colors are better Audio is better. I do notice his shirt is in focus and not his face. Grant, come on, that wasn't. This isn't that long ago. Those little things, you know, those little things. But we're a minute and eleven in, and the only thing I have an issue with is the pacing of that first sequence of Vaughn opening the blinds. I do think that could have had more intent, maybe even creating it in a shorter frame instead of letting it drag out like that. But one thing I did implement throughout this was the audio fade in, uh, very right off the bat, much better. I'm gonna watch it at two, that way it's not, this video isn't forever. Much more dynamic, much better on timing with the music. There was a shot where I purposely just like let it go when I was like bringing the camera down just because I noticed the music was going down with it. So that was a thought process. I remember that when I was editing this video. Uh, much better though. Seven, so seven minutes in, nothing really, not too many complaints. I do notice I have a lot more... Um, different perspectives aka angles this just helps create a more dynamic visual story because you're stringing along shots a b and c all to serve the purpose of scene one and then you keep doing that so it helps just build variety and i guess diversity so your your eyes are never bored if that makes sense because we are shooting this also with the intention for YouTube and the attention rates on YouTube are low. So you constantly have to keep angles changing. And I think this is a much better under this has this video itself has a much better understanding of that.
much better. I would definitely say this has a much better level of cinematography just for the fact of this one can pull a little bit more emotion. Like it's been, been over a year since he won his pro card and like that moment just felt like it was yesterday. Granted, I am the one that filmed it, but yeah, I don't know. That was just a good moment. The music lined up, everything lined up. This was kind of like the peak of the video itself and it has good timing. It's at around 42, so it's like a little beyond halfway through the video. So you were climbing, 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 climax, and now the rest is kind of just a resolution. All in all, this this was just very well. Then we this, this really just turns into a vlog post once the pro card was won. I mean, yeah, that's that's that was great. That was it. So from first show day to seventh show day, the improvements that I've noticed within myself, huge. By the way, I filmed from the framing I chose to having certain angles. There were some parts of the video where it's like, our hands were tied, for example, like stage footage. To be expected, there are way more, I guess, cringe moments when I watched my first video, just because I, I was so I was so new at it. I probably only had like less than a year of editing experience in like under my belt. Whereas here I have about like four plus years, maybe maybe not four plus, like around four years. So I've been doing it a lot longer. And moral of the story is keep grinding. If you want to get better at editing, if you want to get better at filming, the only way to do it is to actually do it. All the tutorials, everything online, those can help just give you an understanding. But like, but in my opinion, true experience will get you there the fastest way just because you're experimenting, you're learning, and you're doing it all on your own. And once it's with you, it sticks. If you enjoyed this style of a video where it's kind of just like me reacting or me just bringing you through something, let me know because I could do this day and night this is easy get ready because it's upcoming prep series i'm going to make sure it has this level of effort production anything of that nature involved with it because i want to make sure this prep series is the one that just takes off so that being said thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one